To work on the triggers, of course, we go to set rules for triggers. And now the first thing is um, we are going to set up the radio items. We're going to set up the reactions to the radio items and then the spawn itself. I like to keep that all rather separate. That is sort of the, the single responsibility principle of software developing. So first off, mission start. Also, I like to, to color code things. Green, for example, is set up stuff. Uh, let it have yellow and gray and whatever. Um, that is just to keep it visually um, easily recognizable. Also, please name your triggers a good, uh, good name. Yeah, name them a good name. That, that's exactly set up radio items. See, I named them a good name. We have no conditions, but we do have an action, and that action is radio item add. We could do that for a collision for group. Um, we'll just do it for everyone. The name of the radio item that is, uh, I don't like this one because it is uh, two things. It is what is shown in the radio menu and it's also what the, the item itself is called, which means you can have spaces in it, which spaces in, in naming units for, for software entities, for, for, for coding entities. That is, I don't like it. Anyway, um, this will be activate a wax blue. Now let's let's leave that. I'm going to get. I'm going to get uh, a PTC otherwise. Um, the flag. Now this is this is the first thing that I want to notice. That it, this is the first thing that I really want to point out. That a lot of older tutorials will tell you. This can all be an integer, i.e. numeric, and they'll say, do things like hundred for your basic triggers and 200 for zones and 300, uh, 400 something. Uh, it's all very, very confusing. What you can do, please, you can type text. It's a string field. I don't know when they changed it, but they did apparently, and that is awesome. We're also going to clone this a bit, activate. Uh, hmm. Blue. Cap. We, we do need separation. We do need uh, this distinction because we also have a red cap. That is, of course, a bit of a shame. Anyway, activate cap. And you can see where this is going, can't you? Activate cap. Activate Sam. Activate Sam. Activate transport. Hall. Whatever, activate transport. Uh, this is uh, 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 activate RT. Those are the artillery targets. So now we all have all the radio items in the in the F10 menu. Now we need them to do something. Like I told you, we have one trigger. Now what what happens? What happens when you press the radio item? When you press the radio item in the menu, this flag here will switch to one. This is this is a bit of a curious thing. Uh, again, it's pretty intuitive. If the value is zero or the flag is not set at all, then it is false. If it is set to one, then it is true. I'm not sure it's also possible that every value other than zero will be interpreted as on, as true. That would be the JavaScript way. I'm not sure how Lua is handling it. Anyway, zero false, one is true. That is pretty much the convention for Booleans, which we have a flag is a Boolean. In this case, it can also be, of course, other values, which we will not use in this case, but you know, can be. Oh no, we will, we will, ha ha, we will. <laughs> I'm showing you pretty cool stuff. Anyway, um, right, we will now work on the mission items. One. Now this is what I like, secondary trigger, I like them yellow. This is once, the other one was mission start, to do it on mission starter. You could also do this with once and time elapsed and starts, but mission start is plenty. 
this is of course a radio AVAX mute condition. Now flag is true. Which flag? This flag is true. What do we do? We will remove the radio item because we just activated it. Radio item remove. Activate AVAX and this is where I always get a bit stressed out. Um, and then we will set a flag to on. In this case, we for the next bit we'll use random values, but right now on use AVAX. You could also just directly activate the group. But for the more randomized options that we'll be using for the SAM and for the CAP, I find it better to do it this way. And I'll show you later why. Anyway, this is then trigger dependent on this one. So call it uh, activate. If I could type wait AVAX. There's no, no issue naming the trigger the same as the flag. You could even have multiple triggers with the same name because that is just what's displayed. Internally, they have probably a UID. Conditions. This one. This one is true. And what do we do? Do a group activate. Blue IMAX. Awesome. We can now copy that. And we will do it later for the uh, blue fighter suit as well. But we will now show you how to do this for the um, cap or the random caps. So radio cap. Red cap is a bit of a misnomer. I will let that's, that's good. Uh, activate this is not activate blue cap. This is activate. Sweep because it is a fighter sweep. Less confusing this way. Never be afraid to go back and name things better. Activate cap. Activate cap. Remove item. Wait cap and flag on. Activate cap. Use cap. Is it? No. What we want now is a random value. It's still use cap, but it is use cap north, and it will be either zero or one, which means it will be either false or true. This is cap center, uh, this is cap south. Awesome. Now we will clone this one. Activate. This is activate cap north. Like is true. Use cap cap north. And group activate red cap north. And we can do that for, of course, center. Center. Center and this will then be uh, north. Okay, I missed that up. Uh, this will be south, obviously. Cap south. Use cap south and red cap south. Awesome. Let's go wait one more time. What we have? This is this is the basic template that I use. We have start trigger with the radio items adding all the radio items, which is what is displayed on the radio menu, the flag to set and the value to set it to on true. Then when the radio item fires, do it here. When this radio item, when this radio item fires, it will set this flag to true. This flag to true means we will remove that item and then set our three flags to a random value. And based on that, 
this, this, or this. We can activate all three of them. There will be multiple two of them in any combination. There can also be none of them, which can be a bit of an issue, but we'll deal with that. but we will deal with that later. Um, right now, I will do that here again for the um, fighter sweep. I will do that again for the Sams, and then we will do radio items pretty much like the blue AVAX and blue fighter sweep for uh, either spawning the, the flying target or the bomb target. I will do that work and bring it right back to show you the result. And there we are, we have now the mission start items, which has the radio items. We can spawn in our AVAX, we can spawn in our fighter sweep. We have cap that is randomized, which one have we activated? Zero to all of them. Sam, I don't want to have no Sam active when I radio for Sam, so I have a mixture of these two. I have the SA3 sides um, set to random, zero to all of them, and the main SA10 Sam will always be on uh, transport and the artilleries are pretty much the same as uh, AVAX and radio sweep, just that the uh, artillery will activate all five groups of them. Uh, now you can, there are other ways you can ensure that there's always one SAM, um, but that is something for a more in depth video perhaps. Right now I want to show you that this actually works. So let's go to uh, save this and it's saved and now we're going to fly. We don't actually need to be in the cockpit for this. In fact, since I usually fly in VR, I'm not doing that anyway. What I want to do is go to the F10 map and show you there is nothing active. So let's start spawning in our targets. Uh, F10 menu, and let's start with the artillery. There, sorry, wrong, <laughs> wrong airfield. There's the artillery. Let's spawn in the, and you see the, the artillery radio item is gone now. Let's spawn in the transport. There it is. Oh, it's going to take off, I suppose. Yeah. Awesome. Rolling. Wonderful. That works. Let's see if our blue flights work. Go to other. Spawn in the AVAX. There it is. And do the same for our. A bit hard to see for you, but. Must be. There they are. All right. F 15. Wonderful, wonderful, isn't it wonderful? But these were all spawns with a fixed probability. Let's see how our random works, our random spawns work. Um, again, hard to see. Let's over here. Let's do it. Let's do it over here uh, because we want to see that there's at least one Sam definitely coming in. Another activate Sam. This one is going. And which others do we have? Oh, we have, we have all three of them. That can happen. Oh, fortunate. And let's go to the cap. And none of them. That can also happen. Very unfortunate. Let's um, restart this mission to show you that this is not some kind of bug that we get all of them and none of the other. Fresh mission. Let's start again by spawning in Sam. And this time, the northern Sam is missing. We only have the main Sam, which will always be there, the western Sam, and the kind of central Sam. Well, let's see if we get some cap this time. Again, no. This is, of course, not good. So perhaps we need to do some magic. <laughs> 